Okay, in this video, we're going to create a new project. And each project does need both a name as well as a client name. Head over to the settings tab. Now, this contains some essential information that you should enter in. It will benefit the output that is produced from this best tool system. Add a project reference. Now the project thumbnail will be displayed in the specification that's generated as well as the login page for anyone who accesses the specification. So add a nice thumbnail and let's just add the project address. The standard represents the building and the finish and that's covered in space rules. We'll get to that in another video. You can choose to accept the default copyright or add your own. Click save and that's now done. Now there's one last thing, let's head over to company branding. And this branding will be shown throughout your documentation as well. You can now head back to the projects tab and you can see a new project has been added. Take note that you are the owner of this project and therefore you have edit rights on this project. If you're a viewer, such as on the sample project, you can't edit those details, you can only view. You can go into that project and now you're ready to specify tools into this project.